I'm here with the DartmouthSports.com Female Athlete of the Week, Andy Norman. She is a junior on the women's basketball team. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. And the Big Green ended the season on a high note, upsetting Princeton in the final game of the season last weekend. In that contest, you scored 14 points and grabbed eight rebounds. Tell us about that night and how important that win was to you and the team. That was um, Fanny's senior night, so her last game, not only at Lead Arena, but with us in this program. Um, and, you know, all week we've been talking about for Fanny and playing for Fanny. And when we came out Saturday night, that's just what we wanted to do, was leave everything on the court um, in honor of our senior who has given so much to us and to this program. And looking back this past season, you were a constant threat from the three-point line. What are some of the skills that you want to work on in the off season so that you can remain a scoring threat from behind the arc? Um, I want to be more versatile next year. I want to, um, you know, whenever I catch the ball, you know, people are like, oh, she's a shooter. But next year I want to, um, whenever I catch the ball, they don't know what's coming from me. Maybe I'm going to shoot it. Maybe I'm going to drive. You know, I want to be more of um, a versatile threat. And next season will be your final campaign in Hanover. What are your hopes or goals for the future for your final season in Hanover? <laughs> um, obviously, the biggest goal is winning that 18th Ivy League championship. Um, it's something that my class has been looking looking for and trying to earn since the moment we um, committed to our coaching staff and we've stepped on campus. And, um, you know, we've got most of our team returning, and I think we've got a really good shot to go out and do it. All right, Andy. Well, thank you very much, and good luck this offseason. Thank you very much. We're with Bo Sulser, the DartmouthSports.com Male Athlete of the Week. Bo, big series this past weekend at Miami. You're going down facing the 17th ranked team in the country. You have to set the tone at the start of the series Friday night. You did just that, a one nothing win, seven innings, two hits, 10 strikeouts. Tell us, what did you have working for you that night? Everything working for you, or did you have to pick your spots? Um, no, I actually I had all my pitches working for me that night, which you know makes it easier. Um, I was able to get you know, my fastball wherever I wanted it. And uh, just both pitches, both off-speed pitches, my changeup and slider were working. And so it uh, definitely makes it easier when you don't have to pick out what pitches are working that day and you kind of have your full, full choice. Team ended up winning two out of three on the weekend. You get to enjoy the last two games, get to see that uh, series clinching victory on Sunday. What's it like from the dugout also watching your teammates perform as well as they did? It's awesome. And uh, that, that's the... Honestly, the best part about the whole weekend was that we won the series, um, and even the game we lost. You know, we were in position to have a chance to win that. You know, we had just as many hits as them on Saturday. You know, it was two-two going into the last inning, and we ended up losing. Uh, I just think this is this is probably the best team I've been on. Um, you know, in my five years here, and it's just making me really excited, and uh, makes it fun when I only pitch once a week to uh, be able to watch the other games and and watch some good baseball. When you first got here. You were a member of the team with your brother, Cole Sulcer. Cole was an all-Ivy pitcher, now pitching in the Indians organization. What was it like coming in and being the little brother of one of the top pitchers on the team and now becoming one of the aces on the team yourself? Um, it was honestly, it was a blessing um, because I kind of already learned a lot about the program and, and knew kind of what to expect coming in. So I think it uh, put me a little bit ahead of other people just because I knew what to expect and uh, also having Cole um, here he's a great mentor and you know just his work ethic and the way he handles himself and all like that it was somebody to look forward like look up to and uh, um, he did an amazing job just basically teaching me how to be who I am today and uh, and so I think uh, you know thankful for that for sure coming up now the rest of the season ahead of you You've got winter finals first, so you've got 10 days off between games. How do you stay game ready during that time? Um, so we're actually, because of that, we're uh, going to go into live scrimmages. So we're going to basically be playing inter-squad games. Um, so Coach does a really good job of just making us, you know, staying game ready because we're going to be playing games. We're not going to do normal practices. Um, so I'll, you know, throw uh, basically a real game to my own team. Um, and with the way they're hitting, it's probably almost better for me to do that right now than face anybody else. Um, you know, going into the weekend, we were like third in the nation in batting average and stuff like that. So it's uh, definitely easy to stay game ready when you're playing your own team and, and these guys are hitting the way they are. So, Well, congratulations on your performance and good luck the rest of the season, Bo. Thank you.